Congratulated. The coaches. Uh, special thanks to Joe Hawsworth and his beautiful wife, Liz. Joe was my first coach. Um, I remember saying, I want to play goalie. I want to play goalie. He told me I learned, had to learn how to skate first. But, <laughs> but special thanks to Joe. Uh, Don McGinnis, Ed Viking, Richard Hickey, John Devaney, Adi Venezia, Dick Umilly, and uh, Bill O'Neill. Those are pretty much my coaches coming up through the ranks. And um, special thanks going out to them because not only did they teach us hockey, they taught us a lot about life. And uh, especially my, my high school coaches, uh, actually Jack Gardner too was in there. They were very influential in the person that I am today. Not just hockey, but uh, the way they taught us discipline and, and how to treat people with respect. And congratulations and thank you for that. Uh, growing up, coming up in Watertown, we had some great support. And the great support really came from our family members and especially the parents. I'm sure some of you parents now are taking your little kids to hockey. It's, you know, it's a 4.30, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning obligation. And those parents really love to do that. And you really need to love to be a hockey parent. And uh, special thanks go out you know, to the Hawsworths, the Reels, the Jacopos, my mother and father, the Hickeys. And there's so many more I, I could say here all day and thank you people. But a lot of our success in high school and so on. And, uh, is, is a credit to you people. Thank you. Friends, what would you be without friends? Um, I, try, I cherish my friends, Dan Sacco, Jack Hawsworth, Chris Kaiser, and uh, Charlie Jacopo, who couldn't be here tonight as a kid I grew up with, but I love you guys and your wives. You're just super people, and you've been behind me. I mean, we've been friends since fifth grade, and uh, I'd like to thank you guys, and tonight's just as much yours as it is for me. Family. I have about 28 people here tonight. And it's, uh, it's a great night. It's a great night. Um, my father was a Watertown High grad, and my mother was a Watertown High grad. But all my father's brothers and sisters, my aunts and uncles are here tonight. And uh, thank you very much for being here. I have a cousin here, too. And uh, thank you very much. And I love you guys. And thank you for your support. My sisters, <laughs> my sisters. Um, strong, strong, I wish I could be as strong as my sisters. Um, they just, they tortured me, but, <laughs> but I guess being the youngest, you know, they always thought I got away with everything, which I probably did, but believe me, uh, thank you for being there. Thank you for your babysitting and just, I love you dearly and my two brother-in-laws, uh, I'm a lucky guy, and thank you. To my brother John, you know, when you grow up as a, as a kid, as a, as a little boy, but you're always looking for someone as an idol or a role model, and my brother John was five years older than me, and uh, I was just always looking up to him, I always wanted to play with him, he would always get away from me, and... But, but John was the kind of guy that said, all right, you know, you can play street hockey with us, you can play baseball with us, and I just admired the kid, and going up to high school and watching my brother John play high school hockey as a goaltender, and he went on to BU and then to Salem State. But I just looked up to John, and I couldn't wait to play high school hockey, because I used to watch my brother and admired him, and his determination, I mean, he used to run the stairs down victory, and he used to push me all the time. And when I got up to high school, he always Chris, you got to do this, you got to do that. And, you know, when you're in high school, you kind of lay back and get kind of lazy. And my brother was always there to give me a good boot in the rear end. But John, I love you dearly. And you're a big credit to this success. And you could easily be sitting up here right now uh, with me. Uh, Gail, thank you very much for your babysitting. But uh, I love you, John. Thank you very much. Uh, next, I'd like to thank, um, when, you get, when you get married, you, you, you marry into an extended family and, you know, you never know the mother and father-in-law, you're like, oh, God, this, this, this could be a horror show, but 
I was blessed, and I, and I invited them here tonight to be a part of this because I, I really think they're very, very special people, and they're like a mother and father to me. Uh, but I just want to thank Chuck and Mal for being here, and uh, I love you. My wife. Uh, I wouldn't be the man I would. I wouldn't be the man today that I would be. I think that was a good spot. I'm getting a little nervous, but um, people ask me. I went back to school late. I took about four years off between high school and college, and people ask me, you know, you made all American. You did this. You did that, and you know that was great. And I always tell them, yeah, but you know the best thing was is I met my wife Michelle, and she's beautiful on the outside and the inside. She's just a very very special lady. Um, my two little daughters, Meredith and Madison, I just love them dearly. And I just need to thank her for standing behind me, going through college, and being patient with me as a father. And I love you, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Mom and Dad. These people are unbelievable, and a lot of the people who know my mother and father will say they're the same thing. Um, going through, you know, elementary school to junior high, it was never, it was always for the kids. It was always bringing us to practice, or my sisters to field hockey, or my brother to football and hockey, and, but they did everything for the kids, and they still do that. Um, they're just two very, very special people. And I don't know what to say, but they're just unbelievable. Um, one last thing, I just, I just want to talk about my father for a second. Um, my father, I just want to tell you a little story about my father. My father was a Watertown High grad, I think in 1952. Um, a, a great football player coming out of high school. His senior year, when the kids get out early in April, my father and about five of his friends went to the Korean War. My father had many chances to go play football. He had many scholarships. But this is the type of person my father is. He's always caring about other people, not worrying about himself. My father came home 14 months later with three Purple Hearts. If you don't, don't know about Purple Hearts, Purple Hearts mean you were injured in war. And he came home after three. They send you home after three. That means you've been shot three times. And the reason why I bring this up is the man I am today is because of my, you know, of course my mother and father. My father always gave to the family. Um, he always cared about everyone else. Never, never cared about himself. Uh, with the good years of the restaurant, you know, buy a house up in New Hampshire and s snowmobiles and a boat. I mean, he's always giving and he's a giver. So tonight I want to give something back to my father. Tonight I'm going to dedicate this award to my father, John. And I'm going to have him come up right now and take this award. Thank you very much.